blue. So this is Zuzu, my cat, helping me out. And I am doing a video about the Samsung Galaxy 2 watch and its issue with Samsung Pay taking over the watch <laughs> and popping up uh, repeatedly. So I've had this watch for several years now and it's been working quite fine without any other problems. I have a Samsung phone too and I manage the watch through the app on the phone. And then all of a sudden, two nights ago, I woke up because it was buzzing on my wrist because I use it for sleep timing. And it was popping up with a Samsung Pay, which I never ever use. I've never activated or used it. And the issue is that it would just repeatedly pop up. I'd have to make it go away. The fact that it's repeatedly popping up made the battery die much more quickly. And it's just annoying when I'm walking around and doing things to have it keep buzzing and I think that I'm getting a message in or you know, some sort of calendar reminder or something like that. And instead it's just this Samsung Galaxy Pay app. So there are a number of people with different solutions and apparently depending on why it's going wrong on your watch, it could be uh, you know, fixed by one issue or another. So in this episode I'm going to talk about how to disable Samsung Galaxy Pay and Bixby because it seems like some people have an issue with one or the other causing this problem. And if you need to disable your Samsung Galaxy Pay or the Bixby, then I will give these instructions. I will note that you don't do it on your phone. You do it, sweetie. Sweetie. No, this is not for eating. You don't do it on your phone. You do it on, or you don't do it on the watch. You do it on the phone. But let me show you how to see in here if it's running, sweetie. This is not for eating. Good kitty. You're a good kitty. Alright, so if you keep swiping, you should be able to get to the apps screen and show all of the apps. Sweetie? So I don't normally do this. So I <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Alright, so <laughs> let me go back one. So when you get... Uh, that's fine. <laughs> when you get to the menu that has your circle of apps. If you click the middle one, then you get all of your different apps. And it shows, you know, your calendar and your uh, fitness app and all that other kind of stuff. And I happen to have three pages worth of those. And on my last page, I have Bixby, which looks sort of like a stylized letter B in blue. And then the pay, which is this blue one over here. So I'm actually impressed that during this video it didn't pop up. I was sort of hoping that it would pop up during the video so you can see what happens. But, you know, that's the way that things work, you know, just like with the kitty. So I will put in a um, video now to show you on the phone how you disable the two things on the phone. Okay, so actually, like, the moment I turned off the video is the moment it popped up. But this is what happens. Um, you're just minding your own business and all of a sudden the phone pops into Samsung Pay to make payments quickly and easily and gives you all this detail about Samsung Pay and it wants you to start it. So I didn't press anything at all. The watch was just sitting on the desk while I got ready to do the recording for the phone part and it just pops right up. So then, I mean, you can make it go away just by clicking the regular button. But this keeps happening like every four to five minutes and this gets annoying really quickly. So now I'm going to go into the, the phone side of things to show you how to turn off the Samsung Pay and Bixby to see if that helps you with your version of this problem. All right, so now I'm looking at the screen of my phone, which happens to be a Samsung <laughs> S21 Ultra, but this should work on pretty much all of them. I am going to swipe up to get to my apps and I happen to have my Samsung apps in the Samsung folder which is on the top right and that's where I've got the different things like health and the uh, you know uh, files and stuff and the wearable is what we're going for but if you're not sure where your app is I'm just going to go back you can go into search and you can search for wearable and you'll get it that way too so either way you should have a Samsung app on your phone that's for your wearables which is you know your watch commander so I'm going to click on wearable so it says I've got a Galaxy Watch Active 2. It says that it's got 85% battery. So the area that we're looking for is apps, which is over on the right that looks like the four colored dots. I'm going to click on apps. 
Now this lets you change the app order if you want to on that swirly circle that we had looked at before. But what we want to do is manage apps, which is just down a little bit. So I just scroll down a little bit and I'm going to click on manage apps. Now in here, it shows us all of the current apps on our phones with some normal stuff like messages and weather and so on. And in here are Bixby and Samsung Pay. So next to each one is a minus sign, and I'm going to click the little minus sign next to Bixby, and I'm going to click the little minus sign next to Samsung Pay. So now both of those are hidden apps that are not showing up, and I'm going to hit Save. So now I'm going to go back over to my phone, and I'm going to turn the phone off and on again and show you that the apps are now gone. All right, so we are back with my watch. So we press and hold the bottom right button and click to power off. It should buzz and say, Samsung, thank you so much, Cat. Oh, you are just so amazingly helpful. She's, she's like trying to knock everything over. All right, that's all right. All right, so the watch is off. We're going to press and hold the bottom right button again to start it to come back up again. It'll go through a startup sequence. So it says that it's a Galaxy Watch Active 2. My phone is going through its discovery and saying that it's found the watch. Get the Samsung prompt. Cat, you're going to stay still for a little while? <laughs> Cat says, I'm just going to swish my tail. All right, so we got the clock up. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, the watch needed a nuzzle. Wait, wait. All right. <laughs> it is chaos with the cat. Yes, you are, you are a very good kitty. All right, let me just see if the watch has finished coming up yet. There we go. It's loading. Clearly, I've not taken many steps today yet. <laughs> 81 is bigger than zero. All right, let's see if go. All right, so I kept uh, swiping till I got to the list of apps. I'm going to click on the center little circle to show all of them. And now the Bixby and Pay are no longer in the list of apps. So that has pulled the apps off of the watch. And for some people, that may solve your problem. For some people, it may not solve your problem. But that is always the first thing to try. See if pulling them out of your app list using your phone does the trick to prevent the Samsung Pay from popping up. And if it does, you're all set. And if not, then I will show you what the next step is on the next video once I get the cat distracted.